Welcome back, this is Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this working Lego combination safe. Okay, to start off, we're going to a 6x6 plate, and on the one side, we're going to place two 1x6 tiles. And right next to that, we're going to place two of these panels. Now we're going to get two 1x3 plates, and we're going to get a 1x1 one one brick with a technicolor. We're going to place that in the middle. And on either side, we're going to place two one by one bricks. And on top of that, we're going to put another one by three. And on the one side, we're going to place a, another one of these one by one bricks with the hole in the middle. And a one by two brick. And we're going to make two of these. Now we're going to bring them over here place them on either side of these panels. We want this hole to be facing inward. Like this. There we are. Okay, we're going to get two of these 2x2 two two round plates and stack them on top of each other. And on top of those, a 2x2 two two round tile with a hole in the center. We're going to flip that upside down. And we're going to get four of these black one by one round plates. We replace them around these round plates so that one corner is left open. And on one of these sides here, we place another round plate. Now we get a two by two round brick, put it upside down. And we're going to get four more of these one by one round plates. And we're going to place them in the same arrangement as on this assembly. So two on the side, and then two on the top corner there. If these are not the same, the combination safe will not work. Now we're going to bring those over here. We'll set this black one aside. We don't need it right now. And we're going to get a Technic pin with the Technic axle on one side. And we're going to put it in this hole right here. Now we're going to put this assembly on it. Okay, now we're going to get two 2x2 two two round plates. And on top of that, we're going to place four 1x1 one one round tiles of any color. We're going to flip it upside down, and in that hole, we're going to place this three long, three stud long Technic axle. Now we're going to bring that over here, along with that other black assembly we made earlier. And we're going to attach them together through this middle hole right here. This. Over here, we've got a seven stud long Technic axle. And down it, we're going to slide a Technic brushing, leaving about one stud space. And we're going to slide down a half brushing, and one of these lift arms with the axle hole on one side, and one more Technic brushing, half brushing. And lastly, another one of these Technic lift arms with the axle hole. And we're going to place this one, we're going to slide it down 180 degrees from the last one. Now we're going to bring that over here, and we're going to 
place it so the longer end is sticking out the front. We replace it through these holes, and we want this uh, lift arm to be f this closer lift arm to be facing this way. So we slide it here. You'll probably have to take a brick off. Now we get another one of these lift arms. We're just going to put it facing upward on this axle here. We're just going to pop in one of these Technic pins with the ballpoint. Now is a good time to figure out your combination. So we're going to turn the roller clockwise until the back roller, the space of the back roller is facing upward which would be red and then counterclockwise until the front roller space is facing upward and now we're able to slide this lift arm through so the combination for this safe is turn one full rotation clockwise until you get to red and then rotate it counterclockwise to a light gray and now our lever will swing freely. Okay, over on this side, we're going to stack up three 1x6 bricks. Now we're going to get a 2x6 plate, and on one side, place a 2x3 plate, and on the other side, a 2x2 two two tile and a 1x2 tile. Now on top of the plate, we replace two one by two bricks, and on the front, a one by two brick with a Technic hole in the center. Now on the top here, we replace a one by one plate, put a one by two plate right next to it, and in the front, another one by two plate. And on the back again, one of these brackets with the four studs on the, on the side. And right in front of that, we replace a 1x2 plate. And beside that, a 1x1 plate. Over here at the back on this bracket, we place two of these panels, these 1x2x2 two two panels. Place them sideways creating a little container. And behind that, just a 2x2 two two tile. Back at the top here, we place a 1x1 one one tile and two 1x2 one two tiles. Now on this hole in the front, we're just going to pop in a a Technic pin with the stud on the front and place a steering wheel on it. Now we're going to bring that over to our main assembly and slide it in the slot. This is a good time to see if everything works. Mix up the combination. The drawer will not slide out. Now we put in the combination. Now our drawer can slide out freely. Okay, now we're at a 1x4x3 panel. We're going to place it in this gap here. We're going to get a 2x2 two two round plate and a 1x2 plate. And we're going to place it on top of the drawer there. And we're going to attach it with this 2x6 plate. Back around to the front, we're going to place a 2x3 plate. And in front of that, a 1x6 plate. And on the side here, we're going to place a 1x2. And in that little gap, we're going to put another 1x2. On the back, we're going to place a 1x2 brick. 
and on either side of it, replace a 2x4 slope. And in front of those, we replace two 2x2 two two slopes. In the front, we're going to put a 1x2 brick. Over here, we're going to get a 2x4 plate, and we're going to place four 2x2 two two tiles on it. Like this. And we're going to bring this over here and place it in this gap. Lastly, we're going to get two 1x4 tiles and place them on either side. Pop out the drawer. Put some money in the container. Slide it back in. Close the lever. And spin the dial. Now the lever will not be able to go back and the drawer will not be able to come out. All we need to do is turn it clockwise until we hit red and then counterclockwise to light gray and the lever will be able to open and unlocking our drawer.